Sometimes people just don't realize it, bro. Yeah. It could be people the closest people to you, all the guys, everybody that you grew up with, any, bro. Sometimes you just don't understand it. Yeah. So it make me kind of, you know, it, if you understand, you understand. You know what I mean? And it take people to go through things to understand. My chief of staff, Bonnie, she hit me one day and she said, you know what I just learned? She said, I learned that you never know when a lion is crying because they roar. Yep. And that's crying and it's also, I'm about to go hunt. So you never know. I don't talk about this really much, even like to my brother, but, but like for the fact that you really know what I'm going through. We had to fight to get a meal, yeah, wrongfully accused, we had to fight to get a pill, that's why we right to get a deal, he on the team, he gotta eat, you know, despite the skills, Facts. keep it riding for the fam, you gotta like the wiggin' wheels, straight up, but in the past bad, work up in the trash bag, I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class, yeah. and my family needed bread, I had to come correct, that's why I keep airing it out like I just passed gas. Welcome back to I Am Athlete, uh, sitting here in Houston, sitting down with some world-class fighters. I got twins. Yeah. You know, and when you're identical, there's something, right? Like, oh, if you give someone a hint, like, yo, if you, this is how you understand who's who. What is it? Uh, our personalities, probably, just the way we are, naturally. You seem real serious, and yeah. you seem, like, just wild as hell. Bro still in training mode though. He he said he ain't. Dog, I'm training too. Nah, it's just all natural. Uh, uh, I had be, I be I, fun, I, yeah. I think his training a little different from just a minute ago. Nah, so. nah, nah. He, he just finished training. That's why he nah, I'm, I'm, he I'm, piped I'm, down right now. But nah, he, I'm, he I'm, like that. He I'm like that. Sure. What's what's the, what's that competition level like for both of y'all? Obviously being twins, growing up with each other, neck in, bite out. You feel what I'm saying? Like when y'all challenging each other, like what, what's that next level? Like who gonna take it there? Who gonna be the laid back? We motivate you? each other for real. To I'm be great. I'm great. Yeah, and I am I'm the good. greatest. So it's like, oh, what? what? I love you, it though. I can see this like, the energy I live. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's how that's said, simple that's as that. I'm that great. He good. He, he said, said he, he greatest. <laughs> Just imagine though, we can't be around each other. I think we only um, they only give us they only give us about um, three hours a day around each other. So what's that like? What you mean? Head, hold on, what, what them head butts like? Cause I, I, I don't feel know what like. What you mean? They only give you three hours. <laughs> yeah, a day. cause it get real hectic. Like it, it'll get real hectic. Like they're the uh, same person. Then yeah, like, we try to change. We try to change up our like, uh, you know, growing up stages. You know, you've been around someone your whole life growing up. It's like you don't want to. You go go off and live your life. I'm gonna go off and live yeah, my yeah, life. Cause I'm if doing not, it, we're gonna do the I'm same thing. I'm doing it this way. You doing it this way. Battling each other the whole time and make. Y'all, it's competitive you know for sure. So, so no. Nah, so my my question was, cause I think I think y'all y'all missing. I'm saying so in the in the ring, right? Don't we, don't be messy, bro. No, nah, I'm being real, cause I got to, <laughs> gang. I I, I got to, gang. Y'all listen, like, at, at, no, at the end of the day, the reason why I'm asking, cause everybody say Floyd, he's sneaker, he do certain things, he hit you when you ain't supposed to really be hit. But at the end of the day, like, what edge do you use when you in the ring to saying like rules to fighting? Like, you feel what I'm saying? What's your edge in the ring? Um. Me personally, my edge in the ring is just my, uh, like you don't want to get even hit with one of those sneaky shots. Like one of those sneaky shots could be a problem to you. So, um, but Floyd, he, he, you know, I gotta be careful what I say because Floyd is a goat and he's a legend and I got a lot of respect for him. But like, I think I could take any one of those sneaky shots. I don't care what type of sneaky shot he throw at me. It, was, it, would, it wouldn't affect me at all. A lot of the guys he fought, they was affected by those slow, Nitty pick and pat shots, but um, still to this very day, I think that I, I had the in boxing, I had the best chance against him. So you see where I'm going though with this, right? Because I, because I, I, I want to know, like, if you was to get in the ring with him, what you feel like? I know you're gonna take yourself, but like, I could have, I could have knocked Floyd out, but it would have been considered to the boxing world a lucky shot. So I would have hey. never got the gratitude anyways. Me and Floyd so he's destined for what he is. Me and Floyd hanging out in Vegas, right? And um. We in Vegas, we hanging out with uh, Aunt Rose and, you know, Rick Floyd, you know what I'm saying? This is OG. So, like, so me OG hanging out, he like, hey, bro, um, which one of y'all want to fight me? <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sound just like Flo. You know? I, was just, I was just like, I kind of locked up. I, I kind of locked up. Oh, we was like, man, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. I was like, nah, man, like, I heard in your weight division no right. more. Like I was 60 Floyd. Like right. that was that was bro. Yeah. He been he always wanted to fight Floyd. But that's why he undisputed. But that's why like I love, now, but, that, but that's why like, I love that passion though, because I, huh? I, I that's why who's that, undisputed. Him. Because like one thing about him is like he always like challenges himself to like, to like I, want Floyd. Oh like I want Floyd. And you that's know, like I want Floyd. That's what I was saying. Cause I seen him at that's his That's why point. we steady be like, you know, where the Canellos, where the GGGs, where, where the big guys at? We the big guys. Like we right. are the big guys. So how y'all miss been, each other then? Like everybody you name, how you, you know miss? What? Well, I think you had the belt, and Floyd had a belt at that's the same what I was time. Going with can, it though, because he expressed that. Can I, can I go ahead, get it off, because that's what I really wanted to know, bro. Break it down for him. Please, go ahead, break it down. Please. So. At that time and era, in 2018, just to give you really graphical points, um, I was Floyd was the the champion. Canelo was number one. Miguel Cotto was number two, and then it was uh, I think I, I don't really remember who was number three. I think I know. I'm sorry. I was number three, and then number four, and then all uh, and so long. But so Canelo was doing his thing, trying to make it. It might have been 20. 2018 had 2019. So I was trying my best to get to the champion. Like I didn't know nothing else, you know? And um, and, and of course, fighting Floyd Mayweather will put you on the map. Fighting Floyd Mayweather put you a, a payday would from that day still pay you for right now. You know, like it was it was essence for me to get to the best of in the division. So I I, I stayed at 154. Um, I never, I went up from 147 to 154. That's mm -hmm. the only two weight divisions I ever Fair fought at. Right. And so I always just wanted to fight the champion, the best, the best guy. You know, like I wanted to fight the best See, guy. See, that's what I respected about him though, because I always could tell, I could sense, you know, when you in your zone, he like, I want to go for the top of the top. And that's why I always respect him, because he never bowed down to nothing. He, he always wanted the top right, shot. Right, so that's right. why I was curious on like, what's yeah. that mental? Because obviously Floyd, he's the GOAT in our eyes. Like, yeah. And we then, argue about it all the time. I, re I remember uh, Floyd fighting Miguel Cotto. I remember Floyd fighting Cotto. I mean, uh, Cotto and fighting Canelo. And, and I'm just still sitting at number three in the WBC, and I was just sitting there. It was almost like they forgot about him. I couldn't almost, move up. No, Pacquiao was a weight. He, he was, was really like one. Low, low, originally, he was, he was under. But what, but what happened was Floyd went and fought Canelo and took his belt. And Floyd became a champion and just milked the clock for a long time. And he, and he stayed at 154 as a, the, the primary super champion. And then it was Canelo coming up in because that Canelo he started. He was young when he seen, when, when, when they went, when they seen each other, Canelo and Floyd. Well, Canelo was young at that time. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. about yeah, 21, yeah. 20. So, but Canelo and Floyd kept, you know, and then after a while, they just kept fighting each other and all of the guys kept fighting each other. And, you know, we, we buzzing De La Hoya phone up and Canelo was supposed to fight in Texas at the, uh, at the uh, the Astro Stadium, at the it was called the Mini Maid Park. I think it's still called that. But he fought he fought James Kirkland. You know, uh, James Kirkland didn't do anything in that fight. He didn't present himself for a Texas native. Yeah. And I and I felt like I, that was my destiny. That was my chance that I should have took on when they should have fought me at the time. My brother, one time we went to a fight. I was with Floyd. He wasn't there. He was like, Hey, bro, please be careful. Be smart. And don't, like, we're not fighting Floyd. He's not going to ever fight you, bro. And, he, and that, that, that's crazy. what clicked in my head. And then I would call him go like, crazy and be like, bro, do you know what we do? Do you like, know? We try to chase everybody. That's Canelo's, before I even won my belt. Canelo, GGGs, Floyd, the top. If you at the top, yeah, you got to see everybody at the top. And that's what we are. So, like, everyone, like, those Charlo twins, they're like, them the, them the kids you don't bring to the Man, birthday party. Eris Londi was fighting Jared Heard. And it was like, bro, you started calling this man out, this old man out. He used that exact term. You old man, he ain't even the champion right now. Uh, her, the undisputed champion. You at the fights to go watch her. The, leave Floyd alone. Right. Literally, leave right. Floyd alone. Why, bro? Bro. Because <laughs> told he told me to man, do it, bro. Because, because, because he ain't gonna do it. Like too. He knew he wasn't gonna do it. Was it. I just, I just. He it, wasn't gonna take that fight. Right. Here, yeah. my, here, my part of it. I really just feel like, bro. You're picking on this whole nah, 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 not necessarily like you picking on him, but like, man, I, we look up to him as a legend. We looked up to him all our life. Like, For you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, like to share the ring with him, awesome. 
Cool. We like that part. But you know what we do? Hmm. You know what we do? Like when That's you come at say. Floyd, you come in at Floyd. Come like on. with 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 that with Charlo, like Floyd, like it's nah, like you know what we do? Lead it, lead, lead that. That's why it's still no, ruining yeah. a relationship. Right, not just the relationship. We got a relationship. Boy, with him. Actually, look, I, I don't have boy. a relationship with him. I do. I don't. I don't got no call, no text. This ain't no friendship. Yeah, this baby. none of that. I right, get that. Right, I want to be So I didn't care about time, it. But I got respect for what my brother was saying because he. It, it was almost like, I'm like I looked at Floyd like I would look at him like, we we we. We the Charlo twins. We 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 champions. We we you know what we do like we fight for this. We die for this. Right, See, so, but what is know, that though? Because that's the, that's you what know, I, you gonna fight your brother? Yeah. Like, like and then it like, felt like that to me in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that relationship I, he got I with Floyd. Cool. Yeah. I feel like, like, we had a great time. He with me. He, he with still me, big bro. He though. Floyd still big bro. And the love uh, still to the love will always be the love, bro. But it's it's different when you competing and you going for the top of the top, bro. I know, but at the time you gotta be smart. Floyd me with him. Is is done like you know what? But I get you coming he from a done. brother. But I he's get already, him he's coming already from a legend. He's already done. He's a Hall of Fame legend. He's he's the face of boxing for so many years. But I thought y'all came from the trenches though. But we, we have, and we we like that, and we we. But you but you took it easy. You gave you gave him a pass. It's Floyd, bro. It's Floyd Mayweather Jr. Like he gave him the pass. I gave him the pass. Exactly. So bro, I like. <laughs> I gave him the pass, but guess he what? He could be 60, I, I could be 50. Oh, exactly. Oh, <laughs> no. No. I feel both sides of the story, though. Hey, look, <laughs> I gave him the pass, but guess what that did? It motivated him, and now look where he at. So, he like, going. Floyd was undisputed. You undisputed. My brother's still undefeated. He wait, undefeated wait, 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 to wait, wait, me. Wait, wait, he got that He got that little <laughs> blemish because, you know what I'm saying? I I still don't feel like. I don't like, care about being undefeated because I'm glad. Nah, that, to me, my eyes. Me, 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 me I, 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 I had a loss in my career and a draw. And that's but those why you two got things the separate me and my brother. So that sure. was the golden right. tickets to me. Right. As the eras change, Floyd was the golden child of that era. I'm the For golden years. child of this era. I'm the man of this era. And honestly, truth be told, you can count back all of these years and put me and him on the same pedestal. Me and Floyd both, after he retired, wasn't even two months, I fought the number one guy. I fought the number two guy or the number one guy. I don't know what rank I was, but it was the one and two. And I won the belt that Floyd let go of. When he retired, they take your title, it become vacant. I knocked out John Jackson. After John Jackson, I went on a rodeo. And I ain't never let go. I ain't let the horse, I ain't let the bull go yet. You so when we gonna see when we gonna see you or Earl Spence? And, and I know that's a tough one. Can we see that? It's that's the, the same one. Like, isn't that the same conversation as Floyd though? It's not, you're not hold up, bro. I want it. Why yeah, you don't want it? It's not a tough It's, it's not, not it's not a tough question, actually. actually. All right. um, let me hear bro point of it if you don't mind. Why why you say no? It ain't it, it I mean they train together. They still they, they, they train together. I mean, boxing is not a team sport. It's a one-man sport. I do get that. 100%. But there's some people in boxing that you kind of share those, uh, those moments with that, that you don't get everybody. everybody else. And I that's just one that. of those things. That's why I said, like, Floyd was like the, he the OG. It's like, you don't, don't like, pipe down when it comes to OG. But, like, somebody else or who, anybody else you want, he went and got the number one spot. You know what I'm saying? So I, I. Earl, yeah. hey, and, and EJ, we grew up together, yeah. let alone fighting them right now. And they have the same trainer. Right. Like, it's I not, can respect that. I wouldn't fight on me. I mean, me personally, honestly, yeah. to get in the ring with somebody, I don't really like that person. So what if the world would, what if the world wanna see that though? What you know they do. And, what, and it's see. a big payday. Uh, so let me answer that question. <laughs> yeah, let him answer that question. Do you want to hear this? So, no, like, you don't so hear this. Honestly, I don't think money, I, I, like the money going to come, bro. The money going to go. It's it's not, it's the friendship, not. the, 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 the what we got, got here, bro. what we got, what we got, here, bro. what we got, bro, 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 what we got, we shouldn't have to like, I, I wouldn't fight. So then I answer the thing. Go, bro, no, no, I'll let you go. Let's stop, bro. He going to shut up. Go, bro, take it off. So, truth. You know, all due respect to Floyd. He did whatever he did in his career. And and the problem is when you fight in different eras, you're going to get different fighters. You're going to get different personalities, different trainers, different everything. The the game going to change. Um, well, which is the Floyd? He's still doing the crazy, amazing thing. I got a lot of respect for him. I respect him. I honor him. Like, I think he's a great person. 
you know what I'm saying? And he's a he's a great fighter. He show business intelligence. But personally, no matter what, I got goals to to accomplish and follow as well. You know, I want to live out my purpose, and who whoever knows what it is, um, you know, I'm the golden goat too. You know, you know. So what what I want to say is, me and Earl Spence, we train together. Uh, we've done a lot. We done a lot of training together personally. We sparred a lot of rounds together. We know each other pretty well. We personally talk. We talk about personal things that that's not on camera. That's right. We we got a great relationship. Y'all brothers. With, yeah, like we we feel like brothers. But um, um, the reason I I won't fight Earl Spence, straight up. But truthfully, my brother's coach, who's a savage named Ronnie Shields. He let me fight one of his fighters that he used to train. And when I fought him, he told me that was the the worst fight that I that he viewed me as. And so I'm kind of trying to redeem my personal self. Like I want to show my coach that I'm really that guy. But without all of that being on the table, I wouldn't fight Earl. But personally, I would fight him if the bag big and we can make a deal and we can make something go re- Phenomenally crazy, I fight him. Right. So, <laughs> shit, you, like, you probably tired of fighting me, dog. No, I, I don't you know. You don't know. The last time we ever, sp- <laughs> nah, the last like time that. we ever sport, I got I'm the best of them. I'm being cool over here because, like, you know, I, you know. The last time we ever sport, I got the best of them. I'm better now. How many fights have y'all had, man? Since five hundred and fifty thousand. What's the record? I'm, I'm I undefeated. Have, I have thirty-seven still fights. Undefeated. Huh? Yeah, what? Oh no, I'm talking about y'all too. What's the record? Yeah, I'm still undefeated. Man, you can it, believe he that. Never, he never. I have ever, five. We 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 had like we had to stop fighting each other. And we, like, have, we had plenty of sparring session, plenty of fights. It, un, 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 believe we know we don't fight each other. We don't fight each other. Yeah, we don't fight each other. He lying. He will never try to fight me. I mean, if the bag is sitting right, man, you know, you know, <laughs> like, if the like, bag sitting right, I would go on Big Brother your ass. <laughs> <laughs> like don't even <laughs> like 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 a real good a real good question. I ain't no captain. A real good question is, no, if I can fight. answer to my mama, why she's still alive right now, right? Yeah. And I can ask my mama and put everything in front of her about as far as finances, put everything as far as about image and everything, I would definitely go to my mom first and ask her, you know, like, what would be my best decision in taking a, a, a journey amongst fighting my brother? But then one thing that me and him do intel is that, like, I, like, we know that we come to kill in boxing. Right. We don't we just want to fight. We want to really destroy hurt, destroy that body, like make a, like, do we go in this thing and make a joke to the world and like put on like a WWE type of event, mm-hmm. come out and view it, the Charlos are fighting each other. Or do we really come together or hate each other? Cause we have our back and forth. I and mean, mm-hmm. we went through almost two years when he had a sour wife, I ain't like her. He wanted to fight me all the time, <laughs> you know? And so I tried my best to make it coherent, but she was down there putting us at war. But once mm. that, once he woke up and realized the best yeah. of the best is us See, being him, stuck it together. It really was him. Right. But, you know. It really was me. You can't accept that. Well, no. When he had an uncoherent <clears throat> one, woman. You, and then you, know like, how, you know how you could just. Everybody got person. women that. No, when not one woman is going to be curled. Cur- just ignore that, bro. Like, you ignore you know, this. Like, you ignore what I'm saying. You, know, you ignore this you don't moment. Want to fight me. You ignore I'm, this moment. Yeah. Like you defending her, but you ain't even with her. So let's ignore I, this at moment. The end of the day, at the end of the day, I taught you all everything you know. Ooh, I'm a that's crazy. Older than you. You know, See, that's that big I'm brother talk brother. right there, Beast. Yeah. Brother, it's crazy. That- you said something. You said something offline where you were like, "Yo, that was the worst two years of my life. Y'all not together. You know, yours like separation anxiety, yeah. right?" Like, talk to me about that. Like, how was those two years, and why was it so tough? Are you real enough to speak on that? I'll speak on it. I'm Man, real enough to speak you on do. it. You shut up. You sit back. Let me listen. See if you're going to really tell the truth. Yeah, I'm going to tell the truth. The real ones, no. Hey, 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 pipe down. Hey, look. All right, so look. Ooh. When I say, like, it's real, like, real life, like, mirror motivation, like, if I see my brother go get a uh, uh, um, big dooley, I want a big dooley too. I want I want that big dooley, you know what I mean? He go get a big mansion, I want a big mansion. Like, this down. 
But back then, when you don't have all that, when we didn't have money, when, when things weren't like this, no belts on the table, it was like, uh, you got you in a position to, to fight, and um, you on uh, ESPN, Showtime, whatever you on, meet you my name, bro. Get you up. Yeah, he used to tell you. No, be real. We keeping you. I was signed with Golden Boy. We, all right, you said keep you wanted. This, this is real life. So, it, it almost felt like, to me, like, I don't want you to, uh, don't leave, don't, don't, don't turn up yet, don't turn up yet. Don't forget about me. Don't, yeah, don't, get don't me forget, there. Don't, no. So you took off first. So you took off first. So you know. So so you So he took off first. Okay. Nah, he took off. He took off first. Like in high school. Bro driving around and uh, uh, Michi, Bishi Galant. It don't matter. Whatever car you had, rims on it. Like, nice, oh, he, but he like he's like, not even supposed to be driving. 20, so he was having shit. Like, bro was this way, nobody shit. had cars. Nobody never repeated the outfit. Ne- yeah, like 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 <laughs> straight up. Hey bro, hey bro, cap never wore the same clothes. You ever. gotta cap him down sometimes. <laughs> like, come on, dog. y'all can't let every. I never I, repeated the outfit. Hey, 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 right, 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 right here, bro. When I turned pro, I never repeated the outfit. Okay, look, bro is undefeated. I ne- look. Can we? I'm not finish? undefeated. Can I finish. All right. So the separation anxiety came in when it was like, I really didn't want to. I'm like, dang, bro. Like, wait on me, wait on me. Like, I had toe surgery. I'm still trying to fight in the Olympics. Like at this time, me and Earl Spence was roommates. Like growing up through the amateurs, he was already pro. Earl was like, oh, you need to be a pro. Like, yo, brother, like, it was times like that where I always like, oh, he's like, nah, tell him not to leave me, you know? But I'm, I'm giving you that exa- I'm giving you that scenario. What about when I went to 2015, the Michigan fight for the US Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I hated that's those. I hated by those. myself. See, I hated that's those. That's when the real separation anxiety came in. Well, and yours came in when I'm great. I lived in Big Bear, California, by myself. We don't, don't, we don't, we had some time. Yeah, we, all right then. So, so it's the same. It worked the same way, you know what I mean? But it'd be times where we really just like, um, dang, dog. Like, I want to see, like, I want to see my brother. Like, I want to see my brother. And I'm looking for that love from my brother. But we working out right now. Let me try to find a love somewhere else. But it, I'll go to some homies, go to my friends, that, you know, go to my dad, call my mom. But it would, it, you can call the close people to you. But it's like the the uh, the encouragement that he gave me. Nobody can give it to me. Like, and I, and if you go so long without it, it kind of gets you like to the point where you gotta kind of like make that, you know. And that was one of the things that like that's why. I, I had to go get it. I had to go get like therapy for it. Like I wanted therapy for it. Like, I could be away from my brother. We don't gotta argue. Because if I'm away from him, we get mad at each other. Yeah. If we away from each other too long, that's when y'all see what y'all know. I mean, you know. And it, it's just separation. I mean, I, a lot of people don't like to just you know say they have things or like something wrong with them or this. You have to go to the doctor. You have to go get yourself checked up. And that was one of the things I wanted. Put some information. That's real. That's real because you got to get to the root of that. Because y'all relationship is complex. It's interesting. It's powerful. You know, it could be beautiful at times. It could be ugly at times. And um, just seeing y'all here today, it, it, you know, we're, we're witnessing it. Yeah, he, we good now. Look at him. Yeah. How how is it now? Like y'all? Nah, we good now. I think I we, think we I think it's this. Where did that energy come from? Like growing up, the energy come from truthfully just wanting to be great, bro. Like wanting to be great, wanting to really strive for like perfection, wanting to be great, and then wanting to be perfected. We twins, we look alike. We got so much that's so completely different about us, and you gotta understand that person. And I grew up at a young man to understand that I I, I understood him early. The rest of the world never really understood my brother. So I could let certain things go. We could go out today, he could go tripping and all of that. And then all of a sudden in the morning, I don't even need that phone call. Man, my bad, all that. I don't need that. I know what, what time it is. He's, he's different, like, but the worst of the world, will ne- it's gonna be completely hard. It's gonna be difficult to understand that he, 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 his, he really meant good for you. You know what I'm saying? But then the energy he has in the that has nothing to do with the upbringing. 
It's just about who he is and how he really carries himself. He's different. He's one of a kind. I'm one of a kind, but we're twins. If I'm being honest, and I, I know my question right now sounds crazy, and I, it's like, I don't know if people understand what I'm trying to say, but I feel like y'all misunderstood. Do y'all feel like y'all misunderstood? Yeah, we both could probably recite a song from Common. Back in the days, it was called Misunderstood. We both could recite that thing, because that was like our favorite song. I even had it Misunderstood on the back of my leg, and I covered it up, just because I didn't want people to understand that's, that's what it, that's what I really meant. You know, like, I'm, we misunderstood. I don't want to die with somebody saying, oh, let me look at this body and saying, oh, he's misunderstood. Because, you know, like, oh, he died because he was misunderstood. And, you know, like, let me, um, let me fix that. So let me, but, so you, you brought up, um, so for the audience sitting down with Jamel and Jamal, you brought up, like, mental health earlier and separation anxiety. This might be an insulting question. But are y'all sophisticated? Hear me out. As athletes, where we come from, we all come from the same place, right? Like, the things that make us strong is also the things that make us weak. Like, I've been through so much shit. I've been in trouble so many times. And I realize, like, those things that make me a dog on the field, that aggression, that pain, is what's hurting me off. And, like, what... With y'all, when I'm hearing y'all, y'all, I'm like, this ain't play. This is real. You understand? Like, I'm trying to kill you. This ain't just no play. We ain't just coming here playing around. And you got to learn how to turn it on and off. So I said, that's why I said it could be insulting, because it was insulting to me for him to ask yeah, me that question. question. You understand? Yeah. We sat down with George, George Foreman. George Foreman said his first, because remember, he, he fought, and then he retired for 10 years, then came back. He said, I was trying to kill them in the ring. He said, when I came back, it was all about the money. Like, that hurt him. He didn't want to ball up his fist anymore. He became sophisticated. You know? I get it. And so basically what I'm trying to say, and I'll let you respond however you want to respond, is there comes a, a point, and I don't know if this happened for you, Jack, in football, where it was like, damn, like, I ain't trying to crack back this dude real quick because I might break his neck. I might give him a concussion. And that's when I knew it was time to go. Well, 100%, I'm, me personally, sophisticated. And I'm not any of that example of George Foreman. So in boxing, we know that there are specific things that we have to do, like training and running and eating properly and enjoying ourselves has to be a bare minimum. But sometimes we as humans don't care about that, right? So we're gonna go in and do a little bit more sometimes. But, you know, I think we, I think I'm probably more sophisticated than my brother, yes. But I'm, but I, I understand the process of it. So I'm sophisticated, yes, but I, when it comes down to boxing, yeah. I still have that deadly mindset. My nickname in boxing is the Iron Man. The Iron Man is a character, of course. But the purpose I call myself the Iron Man is because you can unscrew my heart. Break that down. Remember, he had a, a heart that you have to screw in and out to make him work and all of that. I was the Iron Man, and I was called the Iron Man by Kenny Porter, mm -hmm. Sean Porter's father. Yeah. He named me the Iron Man in boxing. I don't know why, but I took that and, you know, dug a little bit deeper into it, and it was like, hey, I'm the Iron Man for real. I'm heartless in this game. Hmm. But now as I go older and make a lot of money, making doing my thing, I have to realize, like, Boxing is boxing. Making money is making money. But at the end of the day, what we grew up doing can never leave us. It's, it's going to stick to my heart. So one thing that's a part of that heart that's still inside that glass is a, something that we grew up to, and that's how we was raised. A-Leaf Texas. Right. SWAT. We have to have that, that, that uh, ruthless heart. My daddy always told us, they're trying to kill you out there. Yeah, they're trying to kill you. Like, so it made us like Lines. always. It told really us that. made us like. I mean, almost for every real. day you told us. Yeah. That. So but see, but that, but, but that, yeah. but that's, sorry, Jack, but that, that's why I brought that up is because, and I said, what makes us great is the same thing that make us weak out off the field, out of the ring, off the court. Like for me, I, I got in a lot of trouble when I used to beef with a lot of people on my team because 
this was life or death for me. Football changed my life and my kids' kids. So when we lose, it ain't about nothing else but, no, we lost, and how the fuck we going to get it better? You understand? So, like, I had a switch, though. Jack, I seen the documentary. His dad telling, y'all dad telling y'all, like, they trying to kill y'all. That's a different type of training. That's a different type of development. And how your dad trained you. That's how my dad trained me. But I'm talking about that anger. I got your like answer, th- boss. Boxers are on offense and defense. Hmm. Mm. That part. Football players are completely focused on offense, or they're, they're, the offensive player ain't really going to be on defense yep. unless you're in high school. You play one side of the ball. Yeah, yeah you play it's one side of the mentality. ball. The, our focusness is Both. offense and defense. And at the same time, Pops was comp- preparing us to be defensively, but completely oh, offense. Let your offense be your defense. Mm. <clears throat> that's exactly so what that he, that was exact Let me ask this question. So, so what do you prefer that's exact, to be on? That's his exact words. But Jack, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. How many receivers on the really, really, how many receivers on the team? Even five. With four or five. In, five. in game by four or five. All right, what about the ones that's on reserve? They not, they not in the game though. Okay, okay, cool. Let me ask you another question. What if they take that star and put him in the back, but that star really, once they, that star really deserved to be on the field, but when they put that star back on the field, that's our mindset. When they put like that they star, take you off and then put you back on, or just you ain't ever been out? He stayed on the field his whole career, and then all of a sudden his time coming up, and then they don't really see him that way, and they take that star and put him in the back, and then put another young cat in, right, right. like us in boxing right now, like me and Floyd, like me and Floyd right now, right? right? And then all of a sudden, that star, he did his thing. Do that star become sophisticated like Foreman said, or do that star be the Charlos and say, I'm still him? I feel you. What you think about that star that, that, that have no die in him? That's kind of like your situation That's now. That. You've been you've yeah, been chilling for two years. It's deep, I mean, it's just it's boxing. Like, but see, you won't understand because I'm not talking about defense. Right, it's right. All alone, we still got to work for show. defense. For sure. No, nah, that, that, that's, that's big. We got, yo, yo, yo. We got four lions sitting right here right now. What, what's a lion? When you, when you, what y'all say, lion order? Lions only. Lions only? Lions no, only? It's just us. Lions it's just us, us lions. What is a lion though? When you, cause like that, that's a different type of spirit. It's a different he, he, type um, of energy. It's like we the survivors. At the end of the day, we the survivors. They trying to kill you out there. My pops told me trying to kill you out there. You go get it. You, it, it ain't no, it no, it hurt. It do hurt, but you gotta go get it. And that, that's he instilled that in us. Like he was serious about it. Let me help you out. No, no, I don't need no help. Hold on. We like, was no. twins. We were twins. Wait, wait, let me finish. We were Michael stars Jordan. when we was growing up. <clears throat> we was twins. Listen. Everybody. All right. I got to be like Oprah right now. Let They're your brother twins. talk. I got to be right. like Oprah right now. Let your brother right. talk. All right. Elaborate a little you bit. Already, so you, already, you already <laughs> talked about <laughs> it. Damn. It's so, my show, bro. I'm, I'm I see it. 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 I see Dog, he was still a beast. But they couldn't put him on the bench. Nah, he not. He, he, that, he's, he still that guy that he's to. talking about he's that different, lion. For sure. He's you know way different. He that, he's still that lion. Like, he was still that guy. You know what I mean? Michael Jordan is always going to be Michael Jordan. So, like, we look at it like that. Like, it's never, when we when we decide that we don't want to box no more, then we'll, we'll take the pressure off of everybody else. All right, that's how it's going to be forever. And as long as we doing this, we're going to have the belts, we're going to have pressure on everybody neck, and that's just what it is when it comes to boxing. To me, he came into the conversation talking about humble, right? That was his, his way of Him speaking. Him too. That's cool, but listen, I ain't, ain't going to fault nobody for that. But for me, I'm, I'm overconfident, but never too cocky. You feel what I'm saying? When I come through the front door, I'm going to leave through the back. And when I come in, I'm gone. And I'm like an assassin. So for me, I'm, I'm a hunter. I don't lay down for nothing. I don't bend over for nothing. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to run right through you. Smallest dude on the field. But like, guess what? My, my pops always said, you can't hit what you can't see. And your heart bigger than anything. I don't give a fuck how big I am. So for me, that's how I came in, every situation. 
I'm playing the league 6'5", 330, 350. I ain't supposed to be on the field. I'm 5'10", 165 when I first came in the league. Oh, you was in the league? <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? That part. <laughs> that for 15 years. You played football? 15 years. Did it at a high level. One of the best good boxers boxer. ever. That's a good boxer. You feel weight. what I'm saying? Yeah. But Damn, I throw them things Joe. too, though. I, I do all that. But I ain't sure, going to be no celebrity boxer. You are much that faster that than everybody, huh? Yeah, one of the best ever. One of the greatest ever. receivers ever. I think, he, I, think I know who you are. That's the, <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the, hey, you need to be action, bro. Hey, that's the only thing. 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 Hey, now listen up. But you feel me? That and, and that's Sean Jackson? Nah, that ain't me. That's my, you know, that's a lookalike. I couldn't even be in the movies. <laughs> Shady, go ahead. Right. Right. Hey, hey, we're going to be talking about this for three months after this show. You a fool, dog. Nah, I ain't playing hey, yo. Bro. <laughs> nah, bro, that ain't me, bro. I just look like, like this. I'm, in a, I'm, no, a, but, I'm a street but, no, nigga, bro. I, no, but cool, cool. Go, hustler, no, finish, bro. no, finish, because hey, you just said some You boss. watched me walk in the door to right now. If I knew who you was, nah, I would have came at you with the... It's just Hey, bro, look, we doing some. We, yeah, nah, for I'm sure. not like that, bro. Nah, I'm G-shirt. sorry, bro. No, it, it ain't no. I don't got familiar faces, and yeah. I ain't recognizing everybody. But we wear helmets. When you bro. throwing this shit at me, and I'm nah. listening, and I'm putting this shit on, I'm like, nah, for sure. Damn, like little, fast, like strong. But then I'm thinking, and I'm like, the Jets, and then I'm, I'm putting it okay, all so together. Okay, so what team did he play for? Philly. Okay, yeah, okay, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a boxer, man. He's a boxer. He's been hitting his head with all this. Sorry, bro. I ain't like, I ain't no, like, listen, I'm not on, like bro. that, bro. Like, bro, I don't care. Listen, but I'm, I'm you get respect for me because I think you like, you put in a different effort. Like, you no, put I it, like, it. I know your, I, I know when I dig deep into my brain, I know a lot about your career. I play with you on DraftKings, I play with you on the game. Like, straight up, bro. Like, we done? My bad, bro. My okay. bad. Nah. I want to get My back bad, to you old as shit. My bad, man. <laughs> like, look at shit. He was in the Ocho Cinco days. <laughs> you <laughs> old as shit. You heard me say Calvin Johnson earlier. Right. Really? That nigga said like, my, like, my I'm, favorite nigga was Calvin I'm Johnson. You. Like, I ain't no disrespect, though. I just, I'm just, my, my thing, bro, just is the mentality. No, nah, but you said some bars, bro. Like, you was talking about coming in. Like, you, it, it, some of that stuff, and you know, you, the LA culture and how y'all talk. I got crucified for being a nigga that came from the streets. I got cut from the Philadelphia Eagles by Chip Kelly. Because why? Because, oh, he's a gang member. He's from the hood. So what? I, I've been this way my whole life. I ain't been to jail. Ain't got no felons. None of that. Clean record. But at the end of the day, I can't turn my back on where I came from. You feel what I'm saying? So for me, I got crucified for being who I was because I didn't, I didn't turn my back on the homies that grew up in the 60s and the 40s. You feel what I'm saying? Really gang banging, shooting and kid. Like, I didn't turn my back on that, bro. And that ain't nothing to brag on. We talk about that all the time. But guess what? That's what made me. You feel what I'm saying? Because when I grew up in the streets, the big homie said, hey, you get off the corner. You play for the Ravens too, huh? Yeah, I play for all that. You know what I'm saying? I play for like 17. Seven he, contract, he bothered about contract, this. He bothered. He made bothered. over 100 million. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that's <laughs> me. But at the end of the day, I'm saying that to say like. I'm trying to get 100 million, dog. Yeah, like, you going to get it. You young. You don't even got to talk money to me. I know I, I already get a <laughs> sense. I'm, I'm in my mind 50 and up. Yeah. Like, I ain't even over there. I'm trying to get there. Put me in there with Canelo. Put me in there with Canelo. I've been calling him out for years. Why he running? I don't think he running. I think um, my brother just been going through what he going through. He been so nice. The, what the, you fighting Canelo got to do with what bro I'm undisputed. He undisputed. Let's meet in the middle of the way. That's your Don King? We can take, we can That's take your Don King? I'm the Don King, actually. I own. He, he started lines only, but I'm the CEO of it. Hey, you the Don King? But I see every time you're saying this, bro, like, he, he, he said this. What's, what's, what's going on with you, bro? You, 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 you have been sitting in the cut and chilling. It's been two years. If you don't fight by July, you got to, is it relinquish the belt? No. Is, am I using the right language? He don't got to do nothing. Everybody go through stuff, bro. Like, I used to hear about this, like, when I wasn't going through it. I used to always hear about, like, you know, people really be going through stuff. Like, you, you know, you see something, something happen to somebody, see a wreck on the side of the road. You like, man, like you don't want to be that in that position. Yeah. Or but, that ain't gonna happen, that to happen to me. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen to me, but that can happen to anybody, you know what I mean? So uh I took some time off to get myself together, like we were talking earlier about the mental health. But everybody try to blame mental health on stuff. But sometimes it, I mean, for my situation, it's not mental health. I have no mental health issues. I have issues going on with like me actually getting my health. real life shit. It's like running into a wicked demon. Like everybody running into demons out here. Yeah, like we can fight them off. 
But he ran into one that was like, hey, hey, all right, look. So, <laughs> yeah. he, he gonna get it to it. Y'all wanna talk about no, that? What yeah, you I don't into? mind, I don't mind, I don't oh, mind. Look, elaborate a little bit. I don't bit mind. If you uh, bro, we all go um, through it, bro. All right, so look. Yeah, um, I had, I had, you know, high school sweetheart. I got a family. I'm doing the things right. Like, I never looked at it in the wrong way. You know, I, I never felt like I was doing, I was making a mistake. You know what I mean? I'm boxing and she going on a journey with me. And we, uh, we, you know, for our kids and everything, you know, emotional, you know, everything is what it is. You know, I, I'm, I'm supposed to take care of my family, right? But then when I'm not able to take care of my family, then what I'm supposed to do, I, I'm gonna go hunt. Like, I'm really like a little line, I'm gonna go hunt. You know what I'm saying? I'm hunting, so, you know, but in the midst of it, you get, if you get injured in it, you gotta take your time off, heal up, and get yourself back to that. And that's what I had to do. I rebuilt myself. I'm better now. I feel better now. I'm happier now. So me and my brother's super close. We get in arguments because I like to argue with him because it make me stronger. That's you your relationship. Nah, man, I, I want to say this, bro. Good, like, I hear you, and, and you really not going there. And I want to. I just want to say to you that it's okay. You know what I'm saying? In 2011, I was like one of the first athletes to say, like, yo, I had to take three months, sit down. And I had to tap into my mental health. Um, and now every every other week, there's another athlete saying, "Oh shit, I deal with depression. I deal with anxiety. I'm dealing with substance abuse issues. I'm dealing with you know divorce, financial challenges, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we we we're talking about lions only. And I feel like us as men, especially hunters, we can't show no weakness. We can't take a step back. That's how we was trained." Right, that's how pops trained you, and we talked about this. We we actually got in a me, you, Pac, Shady got in a big debate about this mm -hmm. on the Joy Taylor sh episode. Like, can men show emotions and all of that? And, and what I believe, right, because everybody got their own opinion. I believe it is okay for us to say, no, nah, I need to take a beat. I need to take a year. I need to take a two years. I need to take a month. I need I need to talk to my brother. Say, cry with my brother. Um, so whatever, on, whatever the part of the process you on, on flow every night. Whatever, a part, whatever part of the process, wherever you're at in the process, bro. Like I support you, bro. Um, like I always seen y'all from afar. You know, Bar Barclay Center when I was playing for the Jets, y'all there. Y'all always love, always respect Vegas, all of that. This is my first time, really, like us, really kicking it. I love y'all, bro. For Appreciate real. That. And I love you, bro. And I'm here for you and I support you. And I can't wait for you to get back in the ring. But if it take another three months, if it take six months, that's what it is. And you don't owe nobody nothing. You don't got to apologize to nobody about nothing, bro. Like, your story is already it's made. Cool, it's like, already written. My brother, my brother, my brother um, lost his belts and got him back. That don't mean nothing to me. Man, them trophies. But what I really got is y'all. Real lions, bro. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I'm thankful that y'all actually just realized that, like, man, people go through stuff. People realize that, like, we go through stuff sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, in my heart, oh, I'm still a champ. I'm still a champ of the world. But then you hit rock bottom, so you, like, you don't never know who for you or who know about it, who, who really understand it. Sometimes it be the people closest to you that really just don't understand you. People too, bro, that don't bro, that's just, bro, I think that's, bro, that's really just, what that's it went through. That's your story, bro. Like, that's why, like, I really wanted to lean into that. It's and my agent right here, Kenard McGuire. Like, I mean, I'm sitting in a big house, bro. Seventeen thousand square feet, dog. Everything, do whatever I want. The man went and got me fifty million after I'd have been in trouble. Like, with they said he, you can't save him. And I'm sitting in with everything in Miami, and he come into my theater room. And I got my Bible laying on my lap. And he come to me and he say, and I'm like, I'm good. My lady leaving me. And him and my longtime assistant, Kathy Lee, they fly down and he look at me, he said, bro, you, you need help. And I'm like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And they just sat there with me in the theater room, dark ass theater room for about 12 hours. The next day I was on a private plane, probably my first time on a private plane, private plane at McLean Hospital outpatient program, dog. 
And Sometimes people just don't realize it, but yeah. it could be people, the closest people to you, all the guys, everybody that you grew up with, any, bro, they just, sometimes you just don't understand it. Bro, what I realized on campus, bro, was like, like 300 something million Americans and 100 something million is affected by some shit, living with something. It touches all of us. And I, I feel like you haven't, if I'm being honest and transparent, I feel like you haven't really let it go because we live as athletes, especially in boxing. Y'all might be harder than football players, for real. Like, because when y'all get in the ring, y'all could really die. And when you connect with a weakness, what they say is a weakness, mental health or whatever, or just I'm stressed or I'm going through a divorce or I, I just lost X amount, if we, if we do that, if I tap into that and I tell the world that, then I'm not who I am. I'm not a lion, right? So I don't feel like you feel like really like, like really like accepted it and let it go. Man, I'm just saying, I, I have, but I haven't. Because like, because I'm a champ and everybody expecting greatness. You know what I mean? And then when I'm in my, when my, when, when my back against the wall, then I'm in like my weakest, then it's like everybody expecting greatness, but I have nothing to give them. You get what I'm saying? So it make me kind of, you know, it, if you understand, you understand. You know what I mean? And it take people to go through things to understand. So I'll say this and we can move on. Go to the sensitive cause, subject, bro, because it's like. Yeah, I I'm see you tearing up. I'm tearing up. Like, yeah. I, like, I'm trying to hold it in because, like, it's real. Let that shit out, bro. I'm cool. I already, I already did that. <laughs> I already cool. did that. Nah, like, bro, cool. let that shit out, bro. I already did that, bro. Gosh, nah. to tear. He wants you to tear it with cool. him, man. Nah, he already tearing up. He crying, yeah, but like, why, why, why can't cool. I? No, can. it's cool. You know, you know what they say. No, 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 Jack. Let me tell you this. <laughs> let me tell you this. Everything I've been going through all over the last three years, like, and that shit always let it coming out. up. It's supposed to. My chief of staff, Bonnie, she hit me one day and she said, "You know what I just learned?" She said, "I learned that you never know when a lion is crying because." They roar, yep. and that's crying, and it's also, I'm about to go hunt. So you never know. I don't talk about this really much, even like to my brother, but, but like for the fact that you really know what I'm going through, I fucking love you. Love you too, guys. You don't think I, you don't think I wanna go get, you don't think I wanna go get all these belts? But I'm, I'm okay with going through what I'm going through because my brother going to go get it. Straight up. I but went and got cool him with that. That's why we went there. Got him. We from the same pride. Don't worry. He, I feel like I got him. I'm cool. I'm going to get through this and I'm going to go get him. And then it's going to feel like we got like it's, everything. It's yeah. too much. Me and you having this moment, all four of us fucking having this moment. It's going to make it sweeter. It's going to make it sweeter. Because you 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 not being vulnerable, you not letting the world in. Your motherfucking you talk about branding, you talk about a following. When you be vulnerable, bruh, that's the magic. You you know the fire you got in you, right? You know what you're going through right now. But until you 100 percent off that, bro, mm -hmm. you don't want to hop in that ring, bro, with other shit on your mind, bro. Because then it's gonna be like that'd be a reason. Not to say it would it, it would be anything other than to get that dub and that victory. But you don't even want none of that shit to be in the way of that shit, bro. You got to heal. You got to let that shit go. It's cool, bro, to get through that shit, bro. You a credit play on man, bro. Oh, you're not going to stop, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. 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 Respect. It's yeah. respect. I got so it's like, respect oh, that's DJ. That's <laughs> DJ. That's him. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. But it's no, cool. I'm here like, you're a legend, bro. You, you deserve to be in the NFL Hall of Fame. Hey, bro. Ooh. I just love. Yeah, like, like, yeah. I no, no, you go down. No, you go down. You go down. Yeah, you really Appreciate like that. You, you his to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. I don't know what they, the people trip. Yeah, nobody, on, nobody. Man. Listen, nobody has ever done what DJ has done. And we talking about yards. Uh, uh, yards per highlight reception. Highlight reels, bro. He got more highlight reels than him. You know Come what I'm on, saying? Man. Like even. When hey, he, can we ask him the question while we on? Since we're gonna get messy. Uh, you know, on our show we have a, a bunch of contributors, and a couple contributors, not a bunch of a couple contributors, and 
we got two legendary contributors, Shady McCoy and Deshaun Jackson, right? You just talked about getting his flowers. So if you are a general manager, you're a general manager, and you had to pick one, right? I got, I got, this, I got this bag right here. I got 100 mil. I got to give it to one of them. Are you going to give it to D-Jack or are you going to give it to Shady McCoy? And you got to be honest, bro, because y'all... I'll be honest. I'm going to let my go. little brother go you first. Hey, man. bro, never little brother me. Yeah! You see where I got to go? You see where I got to go? It's no. outrageous. Yeah. Gotta, so just imagine, just imagine me going through all this, like, like, yeah. the last two years. So you got to take it easy on bro. He yeah, you know, bro. I'm not talking that shit. Yeah. Like, don't talk, don't say nothing, don't, like, yeah. just, 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 we are, we the same age, same right, birthday, for same real, thing. every time. No, bro, get older, bro. I don't that know why God gave us, hey, look, that that I don't minute, know why God that, gave that, us that big old minute. Yeah, that minute. That, that minute mean a lot. Minute. I got twins, bro. I got twins, Nigga, I'm big, I came out with first, nigga. Yeah, but look, I'm You gotta be, you gotta be respectful to big bro. You gotta, you gonna get little bro for the rest of your life. I'm gonna always little bro you for the rest of your life. I'm not having it, bro. You can have You gonna always be my little May first, you was born. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was born. Yeah. I was born. That's how it goes. You know it. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true, but you gonna but, be born. Yeah. At the end of the day, listen. I will go with Deshaun. He look. Only reason, not because you here, bro, because like who they trade at the end of the season to win them a Super Bowl or go to the Super Bowl. You that guy. That's all I can say. Like, who would they trade for the specific <laughs> moment? Mm -hmm. That's love. That's all I think. That's a bar. What you what you feel, bro? <laughs> I need to, I need to hear from both sides. I mean, you know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me do this though because Shady's not here, mm -hmm. and we want to make it fair because Shady going like we got a whole group chat. All right. And go crazy about this. <laughs> Just them two. All right. right. Shady. Um, all century team is it all not all century all team decade. all decade team, you know I think, and then here goes Shady's argument. You can if you play for the Philadelphia Eagles, ten is available, twenty five ain't available, right? You know what I'm saying. So I just want to be fair. Hey, 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 hey let's. You know what I'm saying? It's time and error. Like him, it's, bro. Time, it's time and error. Man, those, like him. those are different eras in time. <laughs> no, no, no. They played together. He's big bro though, Yo, no, still, no, they, but they Shady don't. We two years apart. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's, that's so, a lot. That's a okay, so you go with Jack. I go with McCoy, man. Like, I gotta I go with Jack. McCoy, boy, man. Shady go. got it. Shady got it, why? I gotta give him my pick. I mean, it's not personal. I'm the CEO, you said. I'm the I'm the GM. We looking at accolades at this time, bro. We, like, I mean, dog, this is my dog. Don't worry. He, got a, hey, he could DJ, go to any DJ team that's for DJ, you DJ. my dog. I ain't mad, trust me. You DJ, my he dog. Did it. But you know what? You know what's crazy? Because I learned how to actually pick now. You know why I learned how to pick? Because I stopped caring about all that. Like, I, I get it. You is my dog, but I got to let you go right quick. That's cool. <laughs> hey, but look, they're going to take, right. take a running back over a receiver, though. If you, if you a, fran if you a franchise, if you a franchise, no. he, they, they took him over I'm you. A the, 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 the debate continues. But he, he said it when he said, though. If I'm picking it, I need that player to get me to that Super Bowl. Who gonna make the bigger play? Okay, okay. No, we gonna talk about bigger games. That's that's small finish. ass running back right man. now. They, them big old linemen and them big old linebackers. They, they, they ain't going to do it. So let me ask y'all this question real quick. You know what? My running back, my running back, you got to catch the ball and run the ball. And he might even throw a. Who your all time running back? We might even run the fleet. Who your all time running back? Go. No, give me one and two. One all right, and two. My all time running back. Like yeah. number one running back of all time. Yeah, come on, come on, hurry. Deion Sanders. I mean, running uh, back. Uh, uh, <laughs> Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders. All right. And then right. Deion was not, not, not who? Number two. Number two? Emmitt Smith. Okay. Mines is Eddie George mm. and Marshall Falk. Mm. Mm. You, you, you different. Go ahead. Nah. Tell me why. Tell me why. Nah. I want to hear him first. Let's he hear him first. I feel like Eddie George is the. Uh, He's the guy that uh, Henry look at. So you got Henry as your number one, and I probably I'm pretty sure McCoy favorite player could have been he Marshall up there with him though. He up there oh. with him. Oh, you, you know, know football. So you said Shady. You could said Shady could be Marshall Folk. Correct. Why? It's the agileness and the, the oh, you know ball. 
Yeah. No, we, we, we No, the reason why I I, 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 I like that comparison. The reason why I like that comparison right? is because like, like Marshall Folk revolutionized yeah, the running right. back position. He was what you talking about. He yeah, was yeah, the bro. the yeah, running yeah. back that could run the ball, but he started catching out the backfield. Right. You know what I'm saying? And Shady, he ain't have as many receptions as the Matt Fortes and Marshall Folk. I like I, I like but, Barry Sanders. Like he said, go through two years. That time and error is different. So I try to get uh, a little bit closer. Nah, nah, and like nah. I said, Gary, Eddie George Gary was, was boom, boom, boom. He's nah. almost like Derrick Henry nah. right now. And nobody and was really. Think, if you you said Eddie George question? was more like, like dude, a Derrick dude, Henry? Yeah, dude. Yeah. I you grew up to so? Emmitt Smith. He was a beast. Yeah. He was a runner. Right. I grew up to Emmitt Smith, so I gave Look you my. Eddie George you know, right now. But I'm really Eddie like, George of the league right now. Derrick Earl Campbell. I want Walter Payton. They ain't got nothing on what? those guys, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, bro, it's a, like, bro, the, even the equipment, even the equipment evolve, is pampered. Bro. Evolve, You, evolve, you with the pamper group. Evolve, All right, real quick, real quick. Give me y'all, give me the talk. Right now, y'all got to come up, take two minutes together, come up with the top five. Quarterbacks. Quarterbacks? The top five quarterbacks in order right now playing today. Top five active right now. Top five. Non active. Active. Bruh, don't help them, bruh. I was going to say Because I, right I, I think it's going to take them five minutes. I was going to say it's already been 45 seconds. It's already been 45 hey, seconds. It's already been 45 seconds. It's already been 45 seconds. It's already been 45 seconds. Right now. Yes, I'm here. Jack. Yes. Leave him alone. Patrick Mahomes, number one. We got, you know, I take Patrick. I got Patrick. Yeah, we got Then you got Deshaun Jackson. Watson. Jackson. You said all time quarterbacks. He said Deshaun Jackson. He said quarterbacks, though. Yeah, I know. I the quarterback. D. Watson, Watson. D. Watson. You know what I meant. Uh, <laughs> I, had them, I, had wait, wait, wait. I had to tell a lot of people don't get our names miscrewed because you hey, know. Hey, stop, hey. bro. Hey, bro. You put Deshaun Watson. Watson, bro. Stop. Right. You got Deshaun Watson in there. He mad at him right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, let's take him off. Let's get Patrick Mahomes number one. Patrick Mahomes hurts. Jalen Hurts number two? No. I mean, not number two, but he Cousins. Is, he, cousins, he, cousins, cousins. Cousins? Cousins Kirk number. Cousins? Yeah, yeah. Man. Number two? Yeah, man. I like that. that. Stop, Jack. What's wrong with you? You niggas is missing all types of motherfuckers right now. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> number two? He said, Jack. God damn. Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers? I wouldn't argue. Hey, Aaron Rodgers. I'm Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers. Hey, Aaron 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 hey, Green Bay all over my crib right now, bro. I got okay, Aaron Rodgers. I got to be number two. I'm going to help you with number two. You said it wasn't active. No, I had Rodgers. Hey, Rodgers not playing with you. right now, nigga. Patrick Mahomes, Rodgers, for sure. Hey, Rodgers, Rogers, I got hurt. Yeah. I thought it was your team. Hey, bro. Bro. bro, hey, hey bro. Uh, Kyle um, Murray. Kyle Murray, number three? Not number three. I'm just getting No, he's old. number six. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, it's been five minutes already. Russell nigga. Wilson is in there. Oh, no, Russell. he don't exist. He's a dope, bro. He don't exist. He's done. What's, that? What we at? What's the time? I got to I got to I got We're done right now, bro. I got to jump in on that one. Russell, I love you. <laughs> He ain't cooked. He ain't Russell five. ain't cooked. He's not he ain't top five. Right he now, he's the most winning as quarterback in 10 years. Why do do this shit? Because it's Bronco bro. shit, bro. He's bro. Just, <laughs> Russell, <laughs> crazy, Russell, bro. Russell, Russell, Russell. Go, go. Them, bro. All right, I'm out of here. You want me to help y'all? I like Russell. What's the help y'all? I like Seattle and Russell. Don't help him. No. Who? Deshaun Jackson. Who your fifth? Cousins, bro. He's still going on Kirk Cousins. <laughs> you love Kirk Cousins. Bro. All right. Bro. Hey, hey, hold on. Bro. Hey, hold on. Hey, I don't know. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hey. Y'all, hold on. Y'all not going to put Josh Allen in there? Yo, for the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Yeah. Josh yeah. Allen. Y'all geeking, bro. Josh yeah. Allen. Y'all yeah. trying to do that. Yeah. Yeah. He's going number four. All right, number four. Yeah. Uh, Joe Burrow. Joe, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. He don't exist. Joe Burrow. No, he no, don't. Hell no. Why? He just got good receivers, bro. Take the receivers away, he's done. I don't give a damn, he's done. Hey, y'all funny as hell, bro. Y'all hey, niggas funny, Jack. bro. Tenny Hill is just like Burroughs. Hey, hey, look, no. Hey, look. Tenny oh, Hill and Burroughs are similar. Hey, can we get in, can we switch it up one time though? I wanna, I wanna get into some clothing, man. Y'all oh, oh, fast. Before, before we do God, that, before damn, we always do this shit. Yeah. <laughs> we about to be like, like y'all. Oh, we ain't gonna fight, nigga. No, I'm gonna solidify the top five. So we can put our graphic together and we're gonna All right. go. Alright, we're gonna go. Hey, 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 Kurt Cousins. Hey. Deshaun <laughs> Jackson. Kurt Cousins. Deshaun Watson. Hey, Kurt Cousins. Man, goddamn. Top five. Lamar Jackson. Patrick Mahomes. Kirk Cousins. Deshaun Watson. I didn't never say Lamar Jackson first. I said Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers. And then Cousins. Kirk Cousins number three? No, right, number you got four. Cousins at three? <laughs> Correct. Who number four? 
Huh? Jefferson and Thielen? Who was number four? Rand Randolph? He no, was I'm talking about anymore. the quarterback. Quarterback, quarterback. Um, um, number four? You, you could do Number four quarterback. You could do the rest. Josh, oh, that's your list. Josh Allen. Josh Allen. And this is Murray. your list. We got different lists at this point. Murray. Murray. Yeah, because right. he got all the go. I got Joe Burrow. Patrick Mahomes. Bro. Patrick Mahomes is not better than Lamar Jackson. Bro. Damn, that's crazy. You heard what he just said? Patrick, Patrick Mahomes is not better than Lamar Jackson. Hey, bro, be real. How hard is this to catch his passes? Oh, Lamar Jackson? Nah, he, he's straight. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. Michael Vick ball harder than catch. His shit was like a left-hand curve. Michael Vick? Cold, though. That's that was kinda, my idol so growing up, What you think? Though. That's like Patrick Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes was like, he got Nah, got Patrick Mahomes is different, shit. though, bro. Hey, he, he really I, like I gonna, that guy, bro. I ain't hey, hey, but you, you, you bigger than him. Yeah, I'm bigger than hey, him, man. Hey, 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 no, hey, hell hey, no. Oh, so who you hey, like hey, DJ hey, over hey, me? Hell no. Hell no. You taking DJ over me? Hell no. Damn, what's up? Damn, bro. All the, damn, what's yeah. up, bro? You want to go in the back of squabble? What's no, up, bro? Damn, you shitting on me. I got no, your face, too. No, 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 that nigga fuck all that nigga. That nigga say, hell no, though. No, I'm talking. This nigga can't fuck with me. He's not going to hear anybody. One hand, two, one hand, two feet in. This nigga's six, eight. Bro, one hand, two feet in every time. He was doing the receivers bad. He was making shit happen. That's cool, bro. I guess you. I love you, too, brother. You was fast. That's it. I was just fast. I was just fast. You was crazy fast. 99 on man. I used to take you. I'm 99 on man. Bro, I used to substitute you. Not speed. Hey, bro, I used to yeah. substitute you. I'm worried about everybody. Hey, BJ, BJ, I used to substitute you and put you in the kick return. Yeah, I'm taking you to the house. And run the ball back. For sure. <laughs> like, I, I used to like you, too. Like, we we own two. I'm owing two with you. It's cool. You got it. Bro, got it. Ah, me and bro. So <laughs> I'm Kevin Johnson. It's cool. Hey, nah, fashion, though, man. Look, so y'all so big on the fashion, man. You sponsored by Prada. I'm, I'm with Balenciaga. Balenciaga, yeah. big time. 80,000 80, a day. How much, how, how much y'all spend? You said a day, damn. How much you spend a month on clothing, just alone? No, I, it's, and most of my a clothes month. are free. Okay, that's that's a bar. So back when you was spending the money, right, right. How much was you spending? Let's let's say a week. Well, the person personally, I would only shop for occasions. So if I had a fight to go to this weekend, I'm only shopping for that weekend. I'm not gonna go and buy the whole week and stuff like that because. Uh, I, re I always knew like the time was going to come where I'm going to have overload of stuff and I could just recycle it and re re maneuver things. So I never I never went into even when my, I first met my girl now, I, hey, look, take your time. We're not going to just jump out there and try to catch up with me. You know, I got all the Louis bags, every from the rollers to the luggage to the the wallets, the, the little small things. I got everything. So it's like, I wasn't going to go out and waste all my money in one night to try to make you feel comfortable. And then tomorrow you talking shit to me. So <laughs> I want to process it slowly and enjoy it. So we don't waste our time. We only shop when we have an occasion. Hope y'all got some good ass edits. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I, I swear to God, that's the truth. Bro. Hey, I, I'm going to say I, this. this I didn't lie to you one time, this bro. Is, I'm going to look on the camera God. and say this. This conversation all over the place, crazy. You wasted your money. But it's, it's, it, it's my favorite, <laughs> it's my favorite show, my favorite episode <laughs> out of everybody we sat down. We sat down with the biggest. And I'm telling you that. Where did he stand when all this discrepancy stuff was going on with Balenciaga? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm curious to, I, to I know. Was, I you was still rocking it? Of course, of course, because I was firm with them. I know that such a billion dollar company, such a massive company, hire people to do production, set up stages and set up this, and then they just make an approval, not really digging deep into something. And that was the production company. Don't that's forget why, Paris. That's why, well, that's why it, we, we call, that's why it hey, came bro. back down <laughs> And, and, and they was getting ready to sue them, right. but they came amongst an agreement. They made something where it's a campaign that they're looking out for the children. I think Balenciaga's doing an amazing job. I like Kanye West and how he put it on the market, even though he's not no, no, no longer with Balenciaga, Kim K, all of those people still rocking Balenciaga. Balenciaga in America is whatever. Balenciaga in Paris nah, not is champagne bottles in have a good time. Sure. You see what I'm saying? So it's like Balenciaga never left its scene. They did they did better to me. They did better by being a bigger man and accepting their wrongs and then moving on with it. I don't think Balenciaga failed. 
at all right now. People look at look at the industry right now. Look at the urban hip hop industry. Look at the pop industry. Everybody's still rocking bells and everything that goes on. You know, well, like I, I, it's I, great. I, I, I want to say this: there's a lot of athletes right now rocking a lot of Balenciaga and they paying for it. Mm -hmm. So that's super dope. Just to hear you talk about like that's that's a partnership for you. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and this is what I was telling DJ. Cause DJ, we was talking as we was discussing like how what kind of conversation do we have? We didn't know it was gonna go all over the place, but I was like the, the thing that came out to me was what I told DJ. I was like, bro, I think they the flyers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I get, I show you, I give y'all your flowers and, and love. Like, a lot of athletes now we get into fashion, <clears throat> basketball, NFL, boxing, MLB, uh, even soccer, European, like globally. I don't know anybody doing it better than y'all. And, and 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 that's big, that's a stretch. It's just like it's, it just feel it. natural to y'all. Where that come from? Like the Man, I uh the struggle of sharing clothes yeah, with each other. But we had to share clothes 16, with each 17. other. We had to switch out outfits and make, I, 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 make sure you, something you don't look the same with someone else. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Oh, you you listen to me? My I'm listening, Are you listening to me? I'm listening to you. Great. Go. So I'm saying though, we have to kind of like recycle things, make something to where it didn't look like what my brother wore yesterday. Yeah. Mm. So today I'm gonna wear those same pants, but I'm gonna put on a shirt that I had three weeks ago. So then you match that up, but we can't wear the same shoes because they gonna know that's me. It was hard, bro. It was hard, especially being twins. Cause look, and then and then mm. on top of that, on top I'm of that. I'm listening to you. Hey, you look, be speaking, hey, bro. Look, hey, on you top of that, hey, on top of that, my mom and my dad would only get us, my mom and my dad would only get us one, so much. one pair. So much. One maybe what, Just what say we had. So much. No, you had a pair of shoes, I had a pair of shoes, we switched them next semester. Right. Mm. See, everybody didn't have that benefit. I'm with a twin. I got a twin. So he got a pair of shoes. I got, don't mess them up, bro. Don't do that. You know, you know I'm getting them. I don't know every time. <laughs> but it's it's different because we we really grew up together, like everything. Like his trophies and my trophies, they was together. Mm. It yeah, wasn't, we never separated, we never our, separated trophies. our trophies. And I still feel like going back to what I talked about, when bro going through your mental health issues or whatever you want to call them. Charles says. Bro, bro said, you on my back and I got you. And that's why it made me respect you even more because it's like, you know, you enduring the pain your brother going through. You like, don't rush, I got this. Let me take this on my chin right now. And that's why I respect you even more, bro. Man, so like, that's why I will, I'm, yeah, ready to fight, I'm ready to fight Canelo any, exactly. at any given time. Yeah. Even though I'm undisputed and got mandatories all over the place, I'll fight Canelo just so they can shut that shit up. We'll fight Canelo, he we'll talked fight shit Canelo. to Benavides. I didn't talk shit to Benavides. The people coming at me. Right. Yeah. The motherfuckers coming at me every day about Benavides, Benavides. <laughs> I fight them though. Right. Don't get it fucked up. I'll fight them. Period. But. <laughs> Bro, right now trying to get his shit together, right. and you like, I gotta take everybody. Right. <laughs> I gotta fight. Damn, bro, get it together, bro. <laughs> I can't do it by myself. Ain't no matter what I'm going through, no matter what I'm going through, hey, no matter what I'm going through, yeah. bro, gonna be tough on me. Right. For real. He gonna be tough on me. Like, no matter what I'm going through, this how it is. Like, I know he hated it, and like, you know what? If, if I was like, like scrape my knee or something, fall down on the basketball court. He like, get up. I just hurt my hey, knee. Listen. I just hurt my knee, man. What you talking about? He like, hey, get up. Like, it hey, ain't, that it's little no one sickness. minute, that little one minute that he brag about, ain't worth all of this shit. Yes, he <laughs> 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 That little one minute, you <laughs> like, got to do all of this I to me, you, all I you. I taught you. I taught you more than your dad. This world, I can ask for it. Yeah, that, I, I can say two I, minutes. I'm talking my brother God more than our own dad can teach you. All right, and we're going, we got we got two ways we're in the show. The first one is this: you got to say something nice about your brother, and y'all got to look each other in the eyes, and then vice versa. Go. Um, look, y'all look each other in the eyes, bro. Eyes. I got to think about it first. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Serious though. All right. You really motivated me to want to have a family and not be like the single guy wanting to live my life. Like you motivated me. Even though it didn't prosper the way you wanted to, you motivated me to want to really be that family-oriented person, to have some secret that the world don't know. Like, I've always wanted to like 
have a big family. That was just something I always wanted. I wanted the wife. I had a high, a high school sweetheart. I had the kids. I had did all that. And you always been there for me. You know exactly what's going on. You know exactly what's, you know, how right. things went. Well, appreciate that. But you wanted, you motivated me to uh, become undisputed. The way you work, the way you carry yourself, the way you change. But see, I change because it is little situation I got, trying to kick back, all right, cool. You change to get better. That's what every man want. I'm motivated by that. That's cool, I appreciate it, because I mean, I won all of the belts. All I'm doing is just collecting checks and doing yeah. you know, life. You know, but you, no, I get it. But you motivated me to want to fucking get all the straps at like 60. Yeah, you know, like, like, at get 60, like yeah, like, get hey, like that. Hey, you know, bro, got your head right there. Like, it's cool. <laughs> It's cool. Yeah, it it's, cool. Hey, it's cool. It's cool. It's real. It's real when you like hit rock bottom and you still up. But box, mm. now, now, now we talking, right? Boxing don't give you the. Yeah. Like, it's no union in this sport. Yeah. So if anybody feel him, I feel him. I made it here though. He like, made it this far this at far. the top, and he's still at the top. They calling his name. I'm cool with that. So all I ask, can I ask one thing? I want you to get back in the ring, bro. I, I got you. you. I want you to get on your full. I don't even like to call it potential because I know you better than that. Get on your shit, bro. I got you. And go get what's yours, nigga, because it's right here in front of your face. Little bro did it for you. Hey. I, don't, I don't mean to call you whatever. No, it's cool. Bro, it's cool because I, it's I, my I, little I, bro. I, I get it. But I, 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 she said his little bro. You don't have to say that to me because I watched. Just put his in front of you. I, 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 I watched the Bennett brothers. I watched the Bennett brothers. <laughs> yeah. Come along in A Leaf, the same thing as for us, sure. but we boxing. No. They, you know, I watched Michael. Go longer than Martellus, and Martellus retired For first, sure. and then Michael For sure. co completed the task. And I watched them make their money, and I watched them become great, and I watched them become themselves. So let me ask you this question, because you brought up the Bennett brothers. So who's the coldest from a leaf? The coldest from a leaf is uh, and because you talked about Martellus and hey, are you talking you football or basketball? Period. Rashad Lewis. Rashad Lewis. Yeah, man. Wow. That's the first thing y'all agreed on all day. Rashad Lewis, and you know what? I might agree with y'all. Then I then I would go with Martellus, and then I would go Michael, and then I would go me, and then my brother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We had to fight to get a meal, yeah. Wrongfully accused, we had to fight to get a pill. That's why we right to get a deal. He on the team, he gotta eat, you know. Spike, spike your skills, fat. Keep it riding for the fam, you gotta light the wig and wheels straight up. But in the past bag, work up in the trash bag. I'll pass a lot to take the test before I pass class. And my family needed bread, I had to come correct. That's why I keep 